Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. A quick update to these uh, Sorrow Expeditionary Forces 9th Army uh, the of these Iron White Cavalry or the Cavalry of the White Iron something. Uh, very cool figure, which I dropped the review the other day. A couple of questions people ask, want to answer. If you saw the video, you know that the hands were quite loose on the gun arm on the one that I showed. Well, I've got three. I've opened the other two. This is one of the other two, and this one here... This hand, if I move it around, is going to come out. So that's two out of three. And then this one here, I move it around and it doesn't want to go anywhere. It's very, very stable. So two out of three have got dodgy hands on mine. Yes, they do have bicep swivels. I hasten to add. And uh, I can swivel from the bicep there. You can see and turn the hand over. There we go. So there are bicep swivels, bicep swivels, sorry, on them if you do, or if you are looking for that. The other question was about the heads. How do they scale with other 118 scale and 40k figures? So if I pop a head out here, there we go. It's almost like a uh, regular Joy Toy figure barbell. If I compare to this uh, high tide from Eagle Force, so I was using when I was doing this Checkmate Boat, that review will drop soon. The head is comparable, but it is slightly bigger. Let's try and get a better focus going on for you guys. So it's comparable, but it is slightly bigger. And you're getting excited. Oh, it'll work with 40K. Well, let's look at a 40K figure. And now it's looking... Yeah, touch on the small side. Plus, the barbell joint is a different size. So if that's resting there, that could work for your 40K figures. And it could also work on a slightly broader, normal 118 scale figure. So it's slightly big for 118 scale. Um, and perhaps a tad small, or pretty much almost spot on, I guess, for the uh, 40k figures. Okay, also the prize draw for the uh, Patreon family for the Grey Knights. That's exciting. It's a really generous uh, donation or sponsored by Joy Toy. Let's get into that now. So let's go into the project. Let's watch that video now. Okay, wheelofnames.com. Let's get ready for the prize draw. I'm going to paste in the uh, names. Here they are. First one says A in brackets. Last one should have a Z to make sure I've copied all of them. And there are repeat names because people get multiple entries uh, depending on their tier or membership. They all are there. Lots of entries in this one. Fantastic prize, the Grey Knights. Let's spin and see who the lucky patron's going to be who gets all these Grey Knights from Warhammer uh, Joy Toy 40k or Joy Toy Warhammer 40k. Line. And the winner is Florin Tanase. Tanase, well done. Fantastic. I'm so happy for you, man. You've won these prizes. I will be contacting you in uh, Patreon and then we can get your details from there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well done. Congratulations to the winners at Florin Tennessee. Tennessee, maybe. I'll be contacting you in Patreon to get your details. Joyto will send you all five of those granites uh, when they are released. Uh, so I would expect them to be shipping to you sometime in December. Even though those are due to release end of November, there might be a small delay because of now COVID's picking up again here in China. Uh, the first raffle winner, his... his um, Pimeris, Black Templar Pimeris Crusader Squad was sent on Friday, so he should get in the next few days. The next winner with the uh, Life After Zombies, they haven't been sent yet, but they'll be sent hopefully this week, if not, then next week, and he'll get them soon too. If you want to be in chance, in with a chance of winning some of these awesome Joy Toy, Joy Toy um, figures, please do, and toys, please do join the Patreon. There are several tiers available. And we still got weekly prizes for the next five weeks at least. Just one more note about these. I've noted that these parts at the front come off particularly on this side. See, this one is missing his little handle thing here. They do drop off. That's going to be in the box somewhere. And this one was already loose in the box. So do watch out for that. Great figures. I've, you know, the more I play them, the more they are becoming my favorite joy to a release ever, including Warhammer 40k, mechs and everything. I just think they are fantastic i do wish the heads were slightly smaller um so i think they're slightly overscaled for 118 but they are amazing
Okay, again, consider joining the Patreon if you've not done so already, and I will catch you in the next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.